Hi everyone, my name's Lisa and this is my first video for YouTube. I have 106 subscriptions to other channels on YouTube for people who review makeup, uh, talk about beauty and style, do haul reviews and storage solutions for makeup. And I am very interested in style and makeup. I've worn makeup since about the age of 15 because I had bad skin and I needed to conceal acne and, you know, red redness in my skin. Um, it's only the past year or so that I've actually got a bit more interested in makeup and been a bit more uh, experimental, I suppose is the word. Um, I do tend to wear a lot more colour and I've learned a lot more about techniques. I read the Ray Morris makeup book, which was very good, and I do feel I apply makeup a lot better than I used to. I take a bit more time and effort and put that into it, and I'm really enjoying wearing makeup and the way that it can change my appearance. Um, I'm quite a quirky dresser. I always have been. I've always been that little bit different. My parents haven't always loved that, but that's just me. Um, so I quite enjoy um, just wearing different things, although I do like a lot of the current styles. I like to mix and match. So I guess I do like vintage style. I, I have a large wardrobe and I, I don't throw much out, <laughs> to be honest. It's all squashed in there. But I do tend to mix and match. So I'll take things that I've had, you know, I've had for a couple of years, wear it with something new. But I won't go out there and just buy all the new styles and wear it all at once because that's just not really me. So in these videos, really, I'd like to review the products that I'm using, uh, talk about them, um, the pros and the cons, and just talk about my experiences with these products, maybe do a few tutorials, um, and basically maybe have a talk about some style. I tend to customise clothes and things like that, so I might put a few of those type videos. At the minute, I'm quite into knitting, and uh, I know that sounds a bit weird, but <laughs> I have made quite a few nice funky headbands, which are, you know, they're individual, there's not another like them, so that's quite nice. So um, maybe we'll get to that, but this is my first video. And it's actually going to be a little bit of review also, because I've been watching tutorials on here because I, need, I wanted a new foundation, and I actually saw a tutorial about the foundation that I'm wearing today. Today is the first time I wore it, because I actually just purchased it yesterday, but I will have a chat about it now. Um, first thing is, this is Bourjois Healthy Mix. And this is in colour 51, which is the lightest option, because I do have quite pale skin. And um, I don't like foundations that give you that yellow look. I don't like the yellowy-orange look, because I have pale skin and it has warmer tones. Uh, cold, to I don't know whether it's warmer or colder, but it's more of a pink tone to my skin than an orangey yellow. So I find um, this goes on really lovely. Um, it's nice coverage, which is quite nice, um, because with some foundations, like I have a couple of older ones, you do need to put concealer on. I found that although I needed to use a concealer, I didn't have to use very much of a concealer. So that was a good bonus. It does have a very nice smell. It's very light on the skin. It ve you don't really feel like you've got it on, which is a good thing. So, that's what it is. And, um, yeah. I mean, I would recommend it. I think that it's blended quite nicely. And yeah, I think it's nice. So, as well um, as that, I'm going to talk to you about what else I've got on makeup wise today. And I am wearing, this is something I also purchased yesterday, number 17 Hideaway Concealer. And this is in Fair, which is again the lightest option. This concealer is amazing. This is the first time I've used it today. You use the tiniest little dab on your skin and it blends perfectly. I have actually been using Maybelline Mousse Concealer, which is nice and it's a great coverage, it's heavy coverage, but it can be a little bit cakey and flaky because I do have a little bit of dry skin. So I do find that you can actually see that I've got it on and I don't like that. So put this on today, you can't see it caking or flaking on my skin, so I'm very impressed with that. Also, it's a Sunday, I'm chilling out and relaxing, um, so under my eyes, I didn't put my usual YSL Touche Clay, which I absolutely love. I just thought, you know, this is so expensive, I don't know whether I really want to invest in that, but I did, and I have not regretted it at all. But today, because I'm in the house, um, I've just put on my Max Factor. Now this is quite worn. This is again in the lightest colour. 
I couldn't really tell you a great deal other than that there's quite a lot missing off the packaging but they do actually sell this still um, oh. <laughs> it's got like a little pump action you can see there's not very much actually left in this packaging so you can see just a tiny bit there and it pumps up into here and again this is another product you just need very little under the eye and it actually is completely concealed any little black circles because I haven't been very well the past few days also um, talk about next I've got this on under my lipstick this is MAC and I don't know which one it is this is the lip erase which is in the palest option which is fair and I put that on my lips when I'm wearing quite a dark colour because it gives me a, a better, like a nice base for the colour but it also allows the colour to shine as it should because to be honest um, colours don't always look so vibrant when they're against your skin, your lip tone it alters them so and um, I haven't actually got that lipstick on my little tray here at the moment but today I'm wearing Amorous by MAC I absolutely love MAC lipsticks. They go on beautifully, they're so silky and soft, they feel like conditioning on my lips. But also they have nice colours, they do last quite a while, and the smell is just gorgeous. So there you go. That's amorous. And it's a nice dark colour. To be honest, I, I love reds, but I haven't actually worn a great deal of reds. Because I just didn't really feel like I would suit them. But I got my hair dyed recently, this lovely red sort of colour. So I've actually had it done for uh, just over a month now so I have got a little bit of a fade on there. It was actually a brighter red when I first got it done. i um, got to go back in a couple of weeks uh, just to get my roots touched up but they're not too bad at the moment. Um, so yeah I'm wearing a lot more reds now, a bit more adventurous on my lips, some plums. It looks really good with the hair colour and I can get away with it. Then on top of that I am wearing This lip gloss by Avon and I don't know if you can see oh, upside down. This is the wines. And this is an amazing lip gloss. I don't even think they make it anymore. I've got it in three shades. I've got the lilacs, the pinks, and the wines. And basically so you can see in this container here, you've got um, this up here, which is a tube of the dark red, and underneath more of a dusky dark pink. And what you do is you dial up the colour that you want on the bottom. So you've got an arrow, and then you dial up what colour you want, and it mixes the two colours together to make that colour. So on top of today's lip colour, I am wearing the darkest option and it just gives it a nice sheen because I do like my lip gloss. You've got to remember always to turn that off though. So basically you put it to the colour you want, you pump the bottom and out it comes out of the top and you can still see some of the gloss on there. Another thing that I've got on is, um, I haven't brought it down, sorry, <laughs> um, I've got Rimmel uh, Blonde Eyebrow Shaping Pencil. Um, I don't have very dark eyebrows because I'm naturally a mid to light brown colour so I actually use those to shape my eyebrows I do to make them just a little bit fuller. On my eyes, on my eyeliner at the bottom I have got my favourite eyeliner and I would recommend it to anybody and it's from number 7 and it's the black eyeliner. Um, they don't do huge variety in pencils so there's um, just a couple of colours. I've got it in black and brown but black is my favourite. It's a pencil with a smudger on the other end and I basically just put it on my lower lash line. And then on my eyes I am wearing colours from this compact. And this is the 17 Glam Rock Eye Palette. You couldn't actually purchase this palette. You had to buy two items and then you got this palette free. So I bought two lipsticks, got this palette, absolutely fell in love with it. 
and then I went back and got two other products and got another one so I actually have another one put away because I absolutely love this so these are the colours as you can see you've got quite a nice um, a lilac purple at the bottom here the colour's not great on here but it's a beautiful colour got a beautiful rich deep black here you've got this is kind of a bronzy colour here but it's quite pale so because I'm not really one for bronzes and golds this is a silver shade but it's a dark sh silver nice metallic shade then you've got a white and a pure silver now I've used the pure white the actual white I use that to highlight under my eyebrow bones here and I've actually used it on my eyelid and then I've took the black and I've just done a little bit of detailing at the edge of the eye. So that's that. The other thing that I have on, I have on a mascara that I got a couple of weeks ago and I'm loving. And that is the One by One Volume Express. Um, and as you can see, it's a nice container. This is by Maybelline and it's got a very nice brush actually. It's quite an unusual brush to use, it doesn't have hugely long bristles but it does tend to catch your lashes very nicely. I do have quite light lashes like my eyebrows which are the mid to light brown but it actually does catch them. Uh, my lashes are very long and it does look really beautiful on. Sorry the camera quality is not fantastic on this.